All right, in this video, we're going to look a little bit more at the protractor I did, the video I did last week. And what I wanna show you now, obviously I've changed the way it looks. This is just a protractor PNG image. I got it off of Google, uh, Google protractor PNG, and then I made sure it was one that was uh, licensed uh, for redistributing or, or changing it or whatever. So this one is, and now another little perk, uh, it, it's still doing the same thing we did in the video last week, except now we're going in the opposite direction. And also not just that, uh, notice right, right here is pretty much on zero. I can click on get angle and here is the new piece here. So that's like 0.46 degrees pretty darn close to zero degrees if you ask me. Um, I'm gonna rotate this a little bit more to somewhere around roughly 30 degrees. And let's click on get angle. So notice 29.87 degrees. Pretty sweet, huh? I'm using Tasker for that. Tasker is actually uh, referring to this a JavaScript that we're gonna create in Tasker and it deals with the uh, function called window.addEventListener. Let me see if I can make that a little bit bigger. And before I dive into this, I'd also like to give a shout out to a guy over at Reddit, Plea Plea Us. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but uh, he helped me a lot. He shared a task with me in Tasker to get um, this stuff working correctly because I was trying to create it. I was messing some things up. But uh, thanks a lot for your help, man. And um, hopefully uh, if you dive into KOWP, some of my tutorials will help you as well. Thanks again window.addEventListener, and then we want to refer to device orientation. That's gonna give us some angles. We can actually get what's called an alpha, a beta, and a gamma. The alpha, the beta, and the gamma. This is where it's a little bit, it's kind of like the opposite in KOWP, but let me talk about the x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis, um, the way it's really meant to be, but I think KOWP has the x and the y mixed up. The x-axis on your phone is that axis right there, flat against the phone, and if we rotate around this x-axis, so we're doing something like that, that's actually what's rotating or changing that red line that you see on the angle. Now, the x-axis is referred to as beta beta okay we're gonna come back to that word beta when we go into tasker right here in a minute now what about the y-axis the y-axis if you look over here in this picture the y-axis is this one right here so if we rotate around the y-axis technically this rotation should be something like this okay that's the y-axis this is the x-axis then we have the z-axis. Well, before I do that, the y-axis is referred to as your gamma. As you can see in that picture, that's exactly what we're doing there. That's the y-axis. It's called gamma. And then we have uh, the alpha angle. That's the z. The z is what pops up and out of the screen. This is what gives you that three-dimensional, I guess, um, in like a math class or whatever. But rotating around this axis would be something like this. So that's kind of twisting the phone. And that's called your alpha now we can get these measurements some of them i couldn't get to work uh, quite right and it does mention up here that sometimes or somewhere on this website or one of these pages where you may not get the exact uh, number that it's referring to on this page however we can still get all of these angles the one that we're interested in is the beta the beta because the way i'm measuring this angle is i'm taking the back of my phone and really we're rotating it around the x-axis However, in KOWP, let me go ahead and show that to you before we jump into Tasker. If I come back to uh, the red X, that basically that's this red line that I have here. Uh, so I'm calling it X because really we are going around, uh, we're doing the beta, we're going around the X axis, but for the animation, we still want to keep it at gyroscope on the Y axis. So I, I, I don't know, I may just be gathering this information all wrong, but this is what I understand. And it, this does make sense to me mathematically too, like the X axis, the Y axis and the Z axis and the way we're rotating. But um, like I said, KOD, KOWP might, might have them mixed up, but we do want to rotate inverted since I have my angle over here and I'm going in that direction. So with all that said, um, this is going to be shared on KOWP toots as well. So you can go get that. And let me show you how to set up this task in Tasker. So Tasker, I have a task and I called it angles. Okay. Two pieces in here. Um, one piece is going to be a JavaScript that actually does all this stuff right here. And let's go ahead and have a look at the JavaScript. 
So window.addEventListener, device orientation. And then this part right here is we're, we're going to like uh, use a function. I guess it's going to call on that function. David Pinchere, if you're watching this man, make sure I might not be explaining this 100% correct. But th this is the thing. It's a, it's a method. We're creating a function. And this is telling the phone to start looking for some angles pretty much. So type that in exactly like you see it. Of course, they called it handle orientation. Um, you can call your function whatever you want to call it. So I'll call it get angles. All right, so then I'm going to refer to that function or that function. So here I'm in this step now, kind of, sort of. Function get angles, that's what I called it up here. And then I'm just going to give it some type of parameter. Get, what do they use over here? Event, because it is an event really that's occurring uh, or the technical name for this stuff, but get. So I got X angle, Y angle, Z angle. And if we go back and look, the X angle, again, we referred to as the beta. So X angle, this is a variable I'm just defining in my function, X angle equals get dot beta. And all you have to do is whatever words you use here in your function, that parameter, use that same parameter for whatever you want to get. There's a lot to read over here at this website as well if you wanna check out more stuff. These are the ones that we want. The only one I'm really concerned with is the beta one because that's the one that we're rotating on, you know, but I'm going to go ahead and do all three of them. Now, once we do that inside of that function, you got to make sure you get your brackets and all that stuff, right? We want to perform task, uh, KOWP broadcast. I will show that to you real quick. Again, I'm not going to explain that because I have done that in multiple videos. Maybe I should, should do just one video on that, but KOWP broadcast is this thing right here. We're sending an intent. We have all this extra stuff, type it in exactly like you see it. And then something I probably didn't show, but broadcast receiver. Um, so pause the video, make sure you type this in when you're creating your task in KLWP. Again, this is, a re this is really beneficial in regards to sending multiple variables over to KLWP um, very fast versus having to do that KLWP plugin and tasker. I'm a big fan of this. So KLWP broadcast, send intent and type in the stuff that you have there. That's that task. But going back to the angles one, so we want to send those things over to KOWP. So that's what I'm doing here, here, and here. Type them in exactly like you see them. And basically, this is going to be the variable name that I'm going to have uh, refer to it as in KOWP. And then the X angle, Y angle, Z angle, all these things, X ang, Yang, Zang, whatever. These are the names in KOWP. But the value that's going to get sent over is going to be this one, this one, and this one. And notice that's going to be those angles that we get from our beta, get from our gamma, and get from our alpha. Uh, based on our device orientation uh, ad event listener function. Crazy stuff, I know. And just you don't have to do these three pieces right here, but these three pieces here are allowing me to set global variables inside of Tasker. So the JavaScript notation there, we want to like set a global, make this a little bit bigger, uh, set global, what do you want to name it, and then what do you want the value to be? So set global this is the name of my global that i'm creating in tasker if i ever wanted to use it for something else and its value is going to be x angle so boom really we're just creating these three variables that we can use within tasker we can use them in other tasks across the entire application tasker because we're creating globals and then last but not least uh what you want to make sure you do too is cut auto exit off and inside of this function uh, do exit with parentheses and a semicolon. And that was, I was already searching for it earlier. Um, you want to stop the execution of a JavaScript. If you have auto exit, sometimes it will not perform all of this stuff. David Pinchair, man, if, if you got some uh, corrections that you need to make here, feel free to share them. Um, so that way other people can benefit from this as well. But this is the task that's going to be run and it's going to be getting the angles. So since I did set globals in Tasker for this stuff, that's why I have a flash here. We can easily cut this off, but I'm just gonna run this thing a few times. So I'm gonna hold my phone at some random angles. Whoops, let me back out of that. Okay, what am I flashing? X equals percent X angle. That's that global I declared in the JavaScript. Same thing for Y angle and Z angle. Notice that's exactly what I declared right here. Set global X angle, Y angle, Z angle. And I'm using these values that I get from this function. All right. So holding the phone, let's see what happens. So notice we got an X, Y, and Z. 
holding it a different way, you will see the numbers are different now. Holding it a different way, you will see that they are different yet again. Okay. Now, also too, just something to point out. You notice if I go over to VARs, I do have these things uh, stored. Where are they at? X angle, Y angle, Z angle. And there are some other ones that I've messed around with too because I was exploring like the speed and acceleration of my device. But X angle, Y angle, Z angle are right there. So we can use or refer to those or use them in any other task in Tasker. So now that we had the task set up, I want to show you how to uh, get it to show up correctly in KOWP. So I'm just going to get a quick angle, um, around 40-ish. And notice this down here, 40.6723, but that says 40.67. Let me go show you that in KOWP. I'm doing a little bit of math utilities to get that. So I'm going to come down here to the text angle. I have two different pieces of text. I'm going to show you how to animate those right here in a minute as well. The angle, um, if you recall, it was actually like 40.67 and some other numbers. Well, this is what I'm doing. Since I did that KOWP broadcast over in Tasker, that's what's getting, oh, let me delete this parentheses right here. So that is the actual value that's getting sent over from that JavaScript with that KOWP broadcast. The value was X angle and the variable name that I called it for KOWP was X ang. Go back and check out that part of the video where I was doing the KOWP broadcast. So here, that's um, the value, but I want to round it because I don't want to see all those decimals. So I'm going to do a math utilities. I want to round, put a comma, and then after this parentheses, but before the dollar symbol, how many decimal places do we want to go? Two decimal places, and now we have that angle right there. And what I have here is a 180 degree protractor. Again, I got that off of Google Images. It was free to reuse and redistribute. And uh, the red, I have everything positioned in the center, but this red piece, again, I did mention the animation, how I think KLWP has the X and Y mixed up. No big deal. I have it animating from the module right. That, that serves as like the center point of rotation. Uh, rotate inverted. And let me see what else. What is its position? You'll have to position it a little bit differently than just popping it in the center of the screen, just adjust it to where you need to put it such that the right side of that uh, rectangle is touching the center little crosshair part of the protractor. That way it'll rotate around that center of rotation right there. So you have to adjust that position to your liking. And let's see what else. Okay, so these two pieces here. What I have is a global switch and I just called it get angle and it's an on off switch. If I cut it on, it's going to fade in whatever the angle is. If I cut it off, it's going to uh, show get angle. So I have the touch and also let me show you this real quick. Um, the settings for that, I have it set to cut off automatically after three seconds. That way it'll, you'll cut it on, it'll show you the angle, but it'll automatically cut itself off. So it'll go back and show get angle. Well, let me show you how I have those animations set up. So I'm going to go to get angle first. This is my actual button, if you will. So it's just some text. If I go to touch, I'm doing two things. I'm launching the shortcut in Tasker that I called, what was it, get angles. So task shortcut, uh, scroll down there to that. And then, oh, no, no, it was called angles. So that's the task that I'm running. As you can see there, you have to pick an icon for it. So make sure you do that. But again, that's what we went over at the beginning of the video. Okay, and then the other piece that I have, I'm doing two things. So when I touch this word get angle, it's going to run that task. And then it's also going to toggle the global switch get angle. So that's going to cut that on. Well, when that cuts on, when I press this button, I actually want this word get angle to fade away. So if I go to the animation for get angle, it's global switch. It's reacting on a global switch that one I created in KOWP and I want it to fade out. So when I touch this, get angle fades out and notice the angle measurement, which is the other text item, fades in. But maybe you just noticed right then, let me do it one more time. It fades in, but this is going to automatically go away after three seconds. As you can see, get angle does come back. That's where you can do the little timer piece. So let me go show you that. The actual angle measurement that we don't see right now, unless I click like that. How am I getting that to work? Well, the angle that shows this angle here, it does not have any touch features on it. 
However, its animation is set to fade in when our global switch get angle is on. So that's how I'm going back and forth between those. And then with that timer incorporated into the global switch, it automatically cuts back off, which makes the words get angle uh, come back in. So saving that, going back to the home screen, showing it to you one more time, getting one more angle up here around 70 degrees, give or take a little bit. I click get angle. This fades in after three seconds, it will fade away. And then one more thing too, you may have noticed that thing was still flashing across the bottom. We can always go back into our task, that flash there that I was using for testing purposes. I can just power that off. And if I apply that, and now if we go back to the home screen, we should not see the flash down here, but all we should see is the angle right there. And we're at pretty much zero degrees as you can see. And there you have it. That's version two of the Protractor where we used Tasker and some device orientation to get the actual angle measurement. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.